And let's watch the video. And also, hello, YouTube. We watching video so you can see it too. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Let's watch this. Let's see. Let's see how Warhammer is scary, crazy, gore, and yet interesting and great. <laughs> In the grim darkness of the 41st millennium exists the Empire of Man, a backwards Aha. carcass of an empire comprised of many devoted forces. Gigantic okay. robot knights, religious machine cultists, and incredibly heavily armored women, mostly. Hello there. I, I, I think I like this one the most. <laughs> Likely with sweltering abs, and one must know. Oh boy! <laughs> what those abs taste like? Can we taste them? Hi, Gigi. H hello. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. My gamer sup's flavor is. Here. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I would love the fact that his gamer sub flavor is the six pack of. I love this. I love this. I love this freaking advertisement. Yeah, can I can I guys be that one? I want to have my waifu cup and I want to have my uh, gamer sub flavor. Could you lower the volume of the video a little bit? Of course. Mm, not an issue, my friend. There you go. Hi, Dark Beast. Welcome. Happy to see you. Hello. Hi, Slim. Woman. Tori, you need water. You look thirsty. Uh, what? Let me let me take a sip of my juice really quick. There, I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> Let's continue. Sweet six pack has arrived a delicious and refreshing cherry uh -huh. pineapple blend play uh -huh. the sound can i can... yeah ah, yes I, my ricky's official gamer subs flavor is here sweet mm -hmm. six pack not mm -hmm. only in regular mm -hmm. energy mode mm -hmm. but also in caffeine free mm -hmm. the cherry pineapple flavor good, is not the Thank kind you. of flavor that just smacks you in the face uh -huh. it is light uh -huh. it is refreshing uh -huh. and it's one uh -huh. of those things where you sip it and uh -huh. you go not bad and next uh -huh. thing you know you are having your fourth refill uh -huh. the same day uh -huh. and it is available uh -huh. now link in Can the I description have it? use code <laughs> bricky for 10 percent off your entire order not it. just for this but for everything you buy and i'm not dumb if you buy any of these tubs regular but i also want my own of my that sweet is flavored by cotton flavor, candy you please. will get a muscle girl 32 ounce shaker completely for free there she are only so a cute. couple thousand of those shakers so get it while supplies lasts i cannot believe we uh, finally uh -huh. have this but I I told everyone, like, once you find out the flavor, you'll be like, yeah, that tracks. And Put damn it on the straight throne, does it I track. Can't Sweet six Hunter, pack I can't. available This is now. something that Code you have Ricky, to... link in the description. I don't even know. I, I, I didn't <sighs> even... These are expensive, if I remember correctly. Like, Gamer Sub is not a, a cheap brand, basically. The age of knowledge and enlightenment Ooh. has ended. No! I was so happy for a second. Has begun. Damn it! Hi, stranger! <laughs> you joined in the perfect time when I'm crying that I want to have a gamer sub flavor. She has to be an affiliate and then have enough orders to have her own cup. Yeah, that's how it works. Roughly 60 million years ago, there existed uh -huh. aliens. <gasps> and these aliens lived short, painful lives oh. they belonged to radiation stricken worlds and often died of various cancers oh. before the age of 30. these aliens that sound the fun. necron tier looked up to the stars and found extreme beings of real power beings with the ability to create they look life, very beautiful the old ones of the galaxy they asked these old ones for help please cure us of our ailments to which the old ones said piss off so <laughs> of course they said piss off peasant why would i do that for you 
games would be like golden age what's that now we live in a misery here bro <laughs> Of course. I'm enter entering the stream and the first thing I see is gamer subs with bikini. It's the perfect thing to see. I don't know what's your point. <laughs> also, this feels like many times in a history back in the day when people used to believe in many, many gods and they would, you know, try to like pray to those gods, to the many, many gods that they had and the gods would be like, just, no, we're not gonna help you. <laughs> Abandon reason, the only war. <laughs> I'm a hop off a okay. cave. Thank you so much, potato. Sleep well and have a nice rest. Bye bye. Greeks in a nutshell. Yup. <laughs> the Necron tier gathered together and did the sensible thing. They declared war upon these old beings and were promptly beaten into the dirt back. Yeah, that makes sense. If you have a culture or a society or a group of creatures that live very shortly and painfully and die of illness every 30 years and declare war on basically gods yeah it makes sense that they didn't succeed yeah that makes sense why are we still here just to suffer <laughs> gods be like nope i'm out to their short painful lives in the world of warhammer there is a hell this hell is not uh -huh. like you and i know it it's more of an afterlife a place okay. where dead souls end up this place has many names the empyrean the sea of so it's souls, not a the hell per se. and the ether but mostly we just call it the warp while you and i oh, know okay, of hell. hell as a place of horrors and punishment yeah. the warp isn't really that not in the beginning it's energy but the, the kind of energy formed from thought and soul psychic energy where the dead souls of people end up in a place that is impossible to understand no impossible to understand but we know that it exists so the aliens are the government when we ask for things to make live lives better no 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 the gods are the government the gods gods yeah 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 so we don't understand the warp, but we know it exists and we know that it has the energy of psychic. Oh, okay. Like your dreamlands, nightmare realm. Uh, there is no nightmare realm. There is only dream dreamland and nightmares. Uh, they exist within it. Laws of reality exist. This is the perfect time lore overlap. Is really a suggestion, <laughs> and it is not something that can be braved easily. The warp would be like sailing the ocean in a pirate movie. To jump from your ship would be certain death. To stay in the sea for too long on your boat could drive a man mad. And there are many dangerous things lurking in those depths. Yet the sea is not evil. It simply is. Oh, okay. So it is not hell because it's not evil. It's not suffering. It just exists as a realm within which the souls gather after they leave the other realms. Okay, noted. Mostly. There are Mostly. more malevolent beings in those waters. Areas that you do not sail towards. This would be known as the realm of chaos. Oh, come on. That sounds kind of interesting. Then why I call it hell? That's, that's my question, too. It's maddening. Oh, it makes you go mad. Okay, okay. The realm of chaos exists in the warp as a special area led by three chaos gods. Korn, the god of calm. Korn! <laughs> we eat him can we put him on a spike and cook him and just chomp him like a corn <laughs> let this be known as the day they almost caught captain jack sparrow of course no 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 it's corn c-o-r-n we shall chomp him <laughs> i'm changing his name Combat, murder, and slaughter, with a pile of skulls taken in his name. Zinch, god of change, mystery, and deceit. A confusing paradox of lies, schemes, and sorcery. Also, oh, he's the smart boy. And Nurgle, god of rot, pestilence, and Ooh. Genshin impact. <laughs> Uh, yeah, today I already uh, finished uh, uh, the first Descendant, so we are watching stuff about different uh, about Warhammer now. It was from the first Descendant. See, I, my memory is not horrible. His meeting place would be corn up. <laughs> no, just confuse everyone and call him corn.
Okay, that, that makes sense too. All things rot in the end. And Grandfather Nurgle is waiting for you with open arms. These gods I don't rule think I their go to him. He's realm no in the fun. warp, sending their many followers against each other in the great game to be the most powerful of all the gods. So the warp exists. Hell. So why there is chaos within the warp and within the warp? And within the chaos, there is a war between the three. Oh my goodness. Why do we have war within K within freaking afterlife too? Let him pop. <laughs> he loves free haggies. Very lovely guy. Sure. Jabba the Hutt. Yes, that's what I was seeing in him. <laughs> is real parallel to our galaxy with the realm of chaos and its gods fighting for control but interesting okay there are also gods of real space gods of the normal world too they're uh -huh. called katan and they eat stars you think god i thought that they were eating ambrosia like you know in greece they had this very specific food that they would eat i guess in warhammer it's stars <laughs> stays in heaven because he too lives in fear of what he's created these star gods saw uh -huh. the plight of our poor necron tear and how the old ones cast them aside and said you know what you guys want immortality oh we will make it happen. We are the gods of the tangible, of real space. We can give you a cure. So then they ate all their souls. <laughs> Why would that, what? Snacky snack. I would just the guy's video a few times before. I'm glad to hear that. Like Skittles, of course. It's like, yeah, you want immortality? Hmm, how about we kill you? <laughs> That's immortality, right? And turn them into robotic automaton, feasting on their souls and leaving a, a hollow shell of an intelligence left that is technically immortal. With the power... I love how in every single lore, you have these creatures, or mostly some type of creatures or gods or beings, that every single time you ask them for something, thinking this cannot end badly, right? Like, I just want, for example, my daughter to be cured. And they're like, yes, I'm gonna cure your daughter. However, now she's gonna be, I don't know, half dead, but she's gonna be cured though. And every single lore, I love these, like, hmm, you want immortality. Let me create, let me kill you so I can create a robot out of you that you still technically live in, but practically not really because your soul is now drained for me. Warhammer for you. You can exist forever in my belly. Oh yeah, it's like you can for exist forever, but if I can gain something out of it though. <laughs> Aliens in all colors of the rainbow, perfect. Did you ever play Warhammer game before? That's a no. The flesh is weak anyway. Of course the flesh is weak anyway. Become metal. Of an entire That's species the souls, they turned question. their new robotic slaves on the old ones and hunted them to extinction. The Necron tier, now the soulless, undying Necrons, got their wish at the price of their souls. But we can count. Okay, so the gods wanted the old ones gone because they casted the old ones away or was that the old ones casted the gods away i got confused on that one i'm not certain now count the number of kind gods on an amputated hand with time the selfish star gods turned on each other fighting one another for more did. chances at glory and power with this the leader of the necrons zarek the silent king the man who doomed his species when he accepted this deal waited planned bide his time until he sees the perfect moment and turned his legions of undead citizens against the star gods oh. gods cannot be killed but they can be broken so Zarek broke the star gods into thousands of pieces and locked them away in vaults taking their free will away as they did to them and sealed them away as basically pokemon to be used as weapons in the future <laughs> I choose you now. 
You thought you can defeat me? Hmm, which god should I choose today to deal with you? Oh my god, this is great. Who's that Pokemon? It's Pikachu! It's the Void Dragon. Ah! Zarek then, with his perfect memory, exiled himself for his sins, flying out to the darkness between galaxies to atone for what he had done. This entire situation, the genocide of the Old Ones and the rebellion of Zarek will go down in history as the War in Heaven. It is the okay. most brutal war the galaxy has ever seen and ever will see. This was a makes conflict sense. that took an entire- It makes sense that the war with between the gods is the most horrific and horrible thing that can happen within the world. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense, that checks out, yep. <laughs> Entire galaxy spanning species and pitted them against gods that ate stars. The Necrons, rather crippled from, you know, the war in heaven, decided to go to sleep in gigantic tomb worlds on various planets until the upstart species of the galaxy died out. And so turns out when you have a war that lasts tens, hundreds, hundreds of thousands of years yeah. and involves the genociding of multiple species, the old ones of the galaxy and the consumption of souls from an entire race, the warp gets a little wacky, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, we have so many dead now that it kind of becomes weird and chaotic. <laughs> had a kiddie pool and it was nice and calm. Corn is over there splashing about, so you don't really go in that direction. Nurgle has explosive diarrhea, so you don't really. <laughs> they just all splooshy sploosh. Go in that direction either, but you can still kind of get in the pool. The pool's still fine. Turns out. I don't think the pool is fine if you have someone with explosive diarrhea in it. No matter on which side of the pool you try to be. <laughs> When you add a couple trillion souls to that kiddie pool, it'll make the waves a little more turbulent. And <laughs> turns out a lot of them like to pick a side, Nurgle, Zinch, or Corn. So the once calmer oh. warp, the once relaxing kiddie pool has now been bloated. A million years of war will certainly make Corn, god of murder and slaughter, more oh, powerful. Yeah. A million years of war will probably make Zinch, god of deception and change, oh, a yeah. little more powerful. And good god, a million years of war will make Nurgle, god of decay. Oh, just the tiniest bit more power. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, no, makes sense because they didn't kill only each other. They killed also a different species. That makes sense that the god of decay will also be stronger. I was thinking about, wait, but the Necrons became robots, so they don't decay anymore. So how can you have decay on that? Also, the gods have not been technically killed. They have been, but yeah, they, they were fighting over in the heavens, but all the planets and creatures were also being killed. So makes sense. Oh yeah, of course they don't clean up ever. Who, who would have cleaned up? Come on, come on, man. Powerful. Now entering that kiddie pool is no longer fun, it's dangerous. The warp Aww. is now a problem. Hell is resembling hell a lot closer to what we imagined it originally. The sea of souls and the realm of chaos are now intertwined. So oh who else to brave the galaxy than a species that won't need to deal with that? Elves? The Eldar no. are space elves. They have a lot of- the Oh, they, 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 they are space. Okay, they are elves. <laughs> Nargle, the Imperium pays a lot for cleaning services, I see. Traits that you probably think of when you think of elves. Tall, slender, pointy ears, a bit more androgynous looking, no matter what DeviantArt will tell you. And a bit stronger no, these are on, on cute. the <laughs> emotional side. The old ones, as I mentioned, could create life. And when they were getting, okay. you know, absolutely bodied by the Catan and the Necrons, they made some new races to try to help them. One of them was the Eldar. It didn't save them but they're here now anyway. Oh, and also the orcs, <laughs> but uh. <laughs> it's like, well, we created some races to help us. Hmm, they didn't save us. Well, but they stayed in their realm, so it's fine, I guess. They're busy right now. <laughs> orcs are always busy, man. Are they just fighting each other? The Eldar are a okay. particularly psychically powerful race. So they were really adept at being able to handle the new turbulent warp of chaos and good at killing Necrons, hence why they went to sleep. Being psychically gifted 
is basically like being a wizard, but you get your yeah, wizard powers let's go. from we have hell. Space this wizard. is called being a psyker. And basically, if you want to do cool wizard shit, like uh -huh. lightning from your hands or reading someone's mind, you can do that, but you psych- Can I play it as this race? This race sounds cool. I want to be a space wizard. When's the game coming out? Isn't it uh, really soon? It already came out. Yeah. <laughs> If in the energy to do that from the warp. Luckily, the I Eldar are very them. good at handling this. This heresy? Why? They're cool wi space wizards. Of course I want to be a space wizard. Not too many negative effects because, you know, summoning power from the Sea of Souls with the new Chaos friends can be a bit of an issue. But Eldar are pretty good at it. And you see what's really cool and also awful about Warhammer is that most developed species travel long, faster than light distances by going through that warp. They create oh. a tear in reality to unreality and move through it. Faster than light travel? <laughs> Nah. We go through hell itself to deliver your packages. For those of you yeah. who play Minecraft, you know how the nether is like a pocket dimension? So moving 10 spaces in the nether is actually moving something like a thousand in the real world. That's basically what warp travel is. Just mm -hmm. much like in the nether, there are a lot of things that want to kill you. The Eldar yep. found a way to do so in between realities. Not regular reality, not the warp something else a purgatory of sorts a fabricated psychic realm that allowed them to travel without fearing the negative effects of the warp the eldar were the perfect fit for the new galaxy and they took it with open arms and pointy ears the empire of <laughs> a very pointy ears you're going to play after you uh, get your info of course you gotta know what you're getting in and now i'm angry that i cannot be a space wizard Disappointed! I want to be space wizard. Of the Eldar spread Look everywhere. Look how cool they and are. spread all the way until now, the 21st century. That's right, while you are watching NPC streams on TikTok, <laughs> the space elves were ruling the galaxy and they did so for They're quite a long period of time. time. The 21st Woo! century came and went. Humanity grew and grew all under the nose of their elf overlords. At this time, humans advanced. Your classic well, sci-fi style way. We began to expand, colonize yeah. our solar system, terraformed our planets, created new and more powerful machines mm. and starships. The age of Terra, also known as Earth, but we call it Terra here, was of here. Of course it's Terra. And existed between the 21st century all the way until the 15th millennia. Not much is oh, known about this time. Good. Not much needs to be known. Humanity grew up, sought the stars. It's classic. Then came the years between 15,000 and 25,000. The what age happened? of technology. Or to some, uh -huh. the dark age of technology. This what, is what, when what? humanity reached a new apex of technological understanding. When you think of sci-fi, there's a lot of things you can think of. Star Trek, maybe Star Wars style. You can go cyberpunk dystopian. The age of technology was deep sci-fi, like a scientific prowess that fringed on magic. This is also when the first so technology that is super duper AI, but also magic. Hello there, Dan Vino. Welcome. Happy to see you. Tori learning about a uh, chaos universe. Yes. Yes, I am. And I'm very happy right now. <laughs> ever psychers began showing up in humanity. Individuals oh. with the genetic mutation to be able to access the warp and then because of that, travel through it. Humanity was no- Technology so advanced, it seems like magic. Okay, so it is technology, but it's almost like magic. Okay, okay, or okay. Constricted to their early ways of travel, with warp travel, they could go anywhere in the galaxy. Oh they no, they realized it. With gigantic AI machines, with everything you would ever need to know about mankind, and mm -hmm. sent them out on colony ships to expand their influence across the galaxy. And this, and? this was truly the golden age of humanity. And with every golden age, there is a fall. While the new human upstarts of the galaxy were reaching new levels of technology and prowess, the Eldar were engaging in debauchery. Debauchery. <gasps> debauchery. What uh -oh. happens when a species has everything? You can produce unlimited food out of 
nothing. Your need for farmers and workers, gone. You have dominated yes. the stars and have created a fast travel system that doesn't rely on the dangers of the warp. You have nothing else to do. You have no struggles, Yeah, they probably no got problems, bored up there. And feel as huh? if there is nowhere else to go. Well, you begin to experiment. The Eldar started harmless enough. You know, you, you take a serious interest in your species' culture, your, your arts, paintings, poems, plays. These are Eldar, mm -hmm. elves, remember? Their, their emotions are heightened, more powerful than us humans. So your plays get louder. They start to push on, on the limits of your hearing ability. Your music oh. becomes different, more deranged. It pushes the oh. boundaries of what is art. The visual spectacle of art becomes more bizarre, more delusional, more... Oh, they're starting to become, uh, like their brains started to be so stale in the state that they were that they g went crazy to actually simulate something in their brains. Oh boy, this is... Oh, I understand what the, what's happening. They had nothing to grow towards. So their brains were starting to like go crazy to do anything. They need to play League. Oh no, please no. <laughs> Eccentric. And let's not forget a very important sense. Touch. Pornography is one thing. I'm a virgin. Brothels is another. What if they all mixed? What if your brothels were part of your art and music? And what if those became more deranged? The boundaries of debauchery were not just met, but shattered. Next thing you know, murder is commonplace and often mixed with the art, music, and sex. Oh. Pain is a common byproduct of entertainment. Whatever sensation you can have must be increased, must be enhanced, okay. must be taken I to see where the this limits. is going. The Eldar Empire slipped into a nightmarish realm of debauchery and excess, with the yeah, worst excess. of it taking place in a city in the webway, a black market for these kinds of heinous acts known as Kamara. Some Eldar saw the writing on the wall, saw what was happening to their species and how far they had slipped. So they boarded continent-sized starships called craft worlds and left their empire, seeking a more enlightened, calmer... Yeah, let's maybe not murder everyone because maybe that's not the best way to go about it. They're just going to the end faster. Oh yeah, they're, they're just... They were just uh, so bored because they had nothing to grow towards. That they started to expand upon those thoughts that we would call intrusive. And they're like, but what if we let those thoughts win? And what if we actually tried this? Hello there, Father Elor. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a great time too. So I think what happened there, the el elders were like, well, we have tried all our ideas that were... Okay, what if we try the intrusive thoughts now? <laughs> I think that's what happened there and they just went with it. When BDSM is a form of government. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, this is no good! ...existence among their peers. Some, those in Kamara, pushed it to even greater heights, relishing the pain and torment they inflicted on those around them. All during this, the warp... The yin to the yang of the world was fed, fed by these emotions, of by course. the psychic power of the Eldar. By the and also they were killing a lot, so they were, again, giving a lot of power to the chaos realm that now is a whole warp, oh boy. <laughs> the souls take him in these depraved acts on a galactic scale. And just uh -oh. like that, Eldar ended. Slanesh. The fourth chaos god was birthed into existence and oh? consumed the souls of 90% of the Eldar population. Those that fled were spared the worst of it, and those in the webway and Kamara were able to stave off the pull of Slanesh so long as they continued to commit horrid acts oh, of boy. torture and violence. But for the majority of the Eldar, their empire died with Slanesh's birth. The so basically, Slanesh was like, okay, I shall appear killing basically the whole freaking species. Uh, what is, uh, uh, what god is she now? I want to drink milk and squish every cat in uh 100 meter radius and you're still streaming. Damn, yep. Killing? No, you misunderstood. Well, then what was it? That's what they went, right? It's called hentai and it's art. 
No, 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 I don't think that I don't think that's what they wanted. I think it just happened outside of their knowledge. New fourth chaos god, she who thirsts, the god of unspeakable excess of pleasure, pain, hedonism, and perfection had been born. So the goddess of lust, the goddess of thirst, the succubi. She she is the first succubi. <laughs> They're giving birth of a pain god, not pain. She is the goddess of lust of well of pain too, but she she Saku pain. Saku pain, let's go! <laughs> With the fall of the Eldar Empire came the ruin of humanity. So this birth sent storms in the warp across Secubi are church school girls compared to her. Oh, I, I see. <laughs> the galaxy, making travel between star systems impossible. Oh, Coupled yeah. with a huge classic AI rebellion, this is a staple in these sci fi settings, humanity began to suffer the age of strife. Now, planets that relied on intergalactic travel were completely cut off. Long range oh, messages, normally sent through the warp, were snuffed out. If you were a planet that was great at, at mining stuff, but couldn't get food, well, you know that Oops. movie about the rugby players in the mountains? Oh, yeah. and because of these insane warp storms and fluctuations, psychers began to appear among the human population a bit more often. Now, this initially had them hunted down as witches, because that's pretty common in this setting, but some deemed it right to protect them. Unfortunately for those people, psychers, because they open a gateway to the warp, don't really know how to use their powers well, and they kinda attract demons who then force their the way through me. the psyker as a ah, oh that's not the best where's the galaxy brain thank you so much for the follow welcome to my comfy space I, I hope you enjoy stay hi hi oh boy so because psychers cannot control their powers they now attract demons that can go through them into the freaking reality oh this sounds great i think they should be hunt down as witches at, at this point ahoy welcome happy to see you conduit of sorts and begin to slaughter the population of your planet the yeah, age of sense. strife was a catastrophic period of time for humanity and set back their progress tenfold over the not one why am i a clown that suddenly flock what's happening why am i a clown what is this now they having a common enemy now? Yes, also I'm wondering, um, since human he mentioned something I'm about the- I'm in danger! <laughs> no, I'm not in danger. Since he mentioned something about the AI rebellion, I don't see it yet, so I wonder if he's gonna uh, say about this. Hello, Flock! Welcome! Happy to see you! One, not two, but 5,000 year period. During oh. this time, the age of humanity that we know began to form. Worlds equipped with large mechs for agriculture began to equip them with weapons to defend from alien and demonic invaders. Over 5,000 years, this became a custom and tradition, dubbing them as Night Worlds, a feudal society of honor-bound knights in gigantic Big robots boys. that uphold the cheval- This is what I was cleaning in the power wash, guys! I did it! I cleaned one of those! Is this only covering uh, the year 40k or before then too? Uh, this is, I think, the timeline of 40k only. But it is uh, compact. Yeah, it is uh, only 13 minutes video, so as much as they were able to put. Before then too. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Ulrich code to defend their worlds and honor. A group of Captain, could you send the link for the video in the chat though, so Flock can check it? ...of individuals on Mars after radioactively bombing their planet to become inhospitable to human life, ran their entire- <laughs> uh, Did you clean a dreadnought or a titan? Uh, I think I was cleaning a titan. I would have to check which one the DLC had, but I believe it was the titan. I'm not certain though at this point. I would have to check the uh, the Steam page or something for uh, Power Wash. Because they made a whole DLC for 4K. Um, so... They put it in like few vehicles, and I think it was a Titan. If it covers the uh, ho blah, blah, blah. Horus Heresy, it covers prior to the year 40k. I think it's only a night. Okay, maybe it was just the night. 
entire lives underground on the few life support systems keeping them alive. Those technicians who could work on the machines and keep them operational were revered, and over 5,000 years went from skilled members of society to full-blown priests. The cult mechanicus, sense. or tech priests of Mars, formed in the ashes of the Red Planet with a religious fervor and doctrine on... Did they literally create it? Did they literally transform themselves into machines to prevail the life and stay? Would it be cool if it was a world or emperor class titan? It would. I I wonder now. Did they literally just mm, replace their bodies with the machine parts? Yes, flesh is weak. Of course, flesh is weak. The cult of the machine god and on Earth. Or Terra. Techno barbarian tribes waged war across the planet in a Mad Max style of blood and gore. Until finally, of a mysterious man who lived in the shadows of Terra for millennia finally revealed they himself to the weak. popular. Everyone within this uh, universe thinks that Fresh is weak. And they pray to the machine gods so the tech works. Does the machine gun uh, god actually exist or do they just pray to a god that they created in their mind? Like, full-on per, uh, perform rituals around them. So Machine God actually creates. Like, like exists. Okay. Sleep is weak, flesh is weak, blah, 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 of course. He does exist. Okay. Sometimes offering nuclear support. Helpful. Nuclear power, I heard, is very useful. <laughs> His name was the Emperor. He deemed himself... No, 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 no. This was not his name. This was his title. I want to know his name. What was it? Was it Andrew? Was it Christopher? What was the name, though? This is just a title. <laughs> we gamers sleep as weak. <laughs> the rituals being what is needed to work the machines. An extra incase and oils. Interest. Incest and oils. He had many names. I need the name. Not a freaking day. This is a title. Yes, he had many names. Gosh darn it. The Emperor of Mankind. Where did he come from? I don't know. Why is he 10 feet tall and the most powerful psyker of all of mankind? I don't know. Why is he basically immortal? I don't know. Where'd Cotton Eye Joe go? Who <laughs> It's like, where did this guy come from? We don't know. He's powerful. He's big. He must be the correct one. If you find Asian tech, they are super into it, if I remember correctly. Ooh, that sounds interesting. We need to ask his mom. <laughs> I don't think she is alive. His name was Phil. I take it. Uh, think of all the great, uh, the great historical figures. It's him. So he's Alexander the Great. Noted. <laughs> knows but he's here and he isn't happy with all of you ripping up Terra. so he began Makes the sense. unification wars where he and a very early version of the famous space marines the thunder warriors reunited Terra under a single banner with blood then after taking but of course it's with blood with all what else would you reunite humanity come on man they are already ripping each other apart you just have to rip apart a bit more and glue it together and it's gonna work <laughs> My pronouns is only he, because I can never be him. <laughs> okay, I think I got the joke. He never had a mom. He was made out of a lot of shame shamans coming together with a shaman magic. Shaman magic, you say? Okay. <laughs> over earth he reunited the thunder warriors into the fucking dirt this is where we get the imperium of man also known as the imperium the new faction okay. headed by the emperor of mankind with a treaty signed with the cult mechanicus on mars to spread out and reunite humanity after the catastrophic age of strife but first the emperor is going to need some smaller versions of himself <laughs> some help guys he needs some help he needs the small little minions to help him 20 of them 18 of them i meant gene crafted some why did he correct it himself that there was 20 and then that it's 18 powerful shamans realized they can come back after death and eventually started to not come back and panic oops 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, why? Two was redacted. Oh, he cloned himself? We don't talk about the one. Oh. We don't, okay, we don't talk about them, okay. Of the I'm strongest sorry, yeah. human to ever live. All of them possess unparalleled strategic power, intelligence, formidable strength and size. A real powerful force to unite humanity and stop the chaos of the current galaxy. Speaking of chaos, you ever seen that image? Yeah, whoa, 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 what's, what's up with that, uh, with that warp stuff? Uh, is it still chaotic? Image of that guy, it's like throwing the baby like a basketball. It's about what happened. The Chaos Gods intervened and grabbed the 18 Primarch gestation pods and yeeted them across the galaxy at a whim. Everywhere they- They're like, nah, this is, this is, this is too good of a plan. We must not let this happen. Second and 11th legions uh, was redacted from history. Whoa boy. They, they have, they must have done something very, very great for that to happen. Could possibly go a galactic game of keep away. So the emperor had to get them back. So begins the great crusade, a crusade across the stars. So let's go across the stars, kill everything we see until we find the people that I need to help me to reunite the humanity. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> to reunite not just humanity but the emperor with his fallen sons the first I would, <laughs> emperor went fine i'll do it myself me 18 times <laughs> we don't know we shall not know they he were redacted from the history Horus, one of the strongest and most noble sons the emperor uh -huh. carried with him a legion of newly crafted warriors with genetic material made from their primark father these are the newly made space marines. For Horus, his were the Luna Wolves. And as the Emperor- Okay, so basically the space marines are not actual humans, right? Did we go through the orcs yet? No, they are busy somewhere in the background. <laughs> as far as he said, they're busy. Yeah, they are busy. <laughs> Continued on his great crusade, he found more and more of his sons, reuniting them they have with human their individual brain space- is that it? Do they just have human brain and the rest is just meh? They are human, just a bit modified. They start off as humans. Oh. Lovely. Me love to hear that. <laughs> Space Marine Legions. Lehman Russ, the cunning hunter with the Space Wolves. Rogel Dorm, the phalanx Ooh. with the Imperial Fists. I Angron, like the yellow the barbarian, one. the very angry with his the very ears. angry. Fulgrim, the perfect <gasps> with his emperor's children. Look at this beautiful pink one. Ah, Dreadnoughts are also humans. Then they get some uh, gene therapy and some new organs. Yeah, sounds about right. You may need them. Imagine a steroid therapy just cranked to 11 times 100. Oh boy. <laughs> and Jagatai Khan, the swift, the stoic, and his white scars. Those mm, were just some of the 18. Brim -brim. And one by one, his lost Primarch sons were returned to him, and their Space Marine Legions returned to them. The Great Crusade saw humanity once again reconquer the stars, returning worlds of humanity back to the Imperium yeah. and killing any and all who stood against their noble crusade. Sure. But in the years of the 31st millennia, treachery would break this all apart. Damn it, we are doing so well, but of course someone wants to have more power. Some managed to survive the process. Here we go again. Then don't know what we did. Horus, the Emperor's most beloved and favored sons, named War Master for the Crusades. Not the Horus heresy! One out of 200, of course, there always has to, to be the one. the power of chaos and daddy issues. All because of that daddy bastard issues. Erebus. Yo, fuck Erebus. Slowly, Horus would become corrupted, turning the Emperor's sons against him. This uh -oh. begins the most pivotal moment in our oh, story, no. and the one that has like 50 books written about it, the Horus Heresy. Half 
Nine of the 18 Primarchs turned against the Emperor, and the following years were a bloody battle for the throne of Terra. The Emperor originally was working on a special webway project, just like the Eldar, to make faster than light travel significantly easier and safer, really improve humanity to allow them to conquer the stars without the risk of the warp. Why are there always skulls around here? I feel like everyone just goes certain ways where they have design, 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 skulls. Like it always ends with skulls. <laughs> what is happening, guys? Why, why, why can't we go a different way? Why, why do we always have to end up with those? <laughs> skulls are cool. I mean, sure. <laughs> Uh, surveyors are built from skulls, oh, of course. Well, this big red idiot named Magnus kind of blew a hole into that, literally and figuratively. So Biggie oh, over it. there is stuck on a gigantic golden throne, holding back the oncoming rush of demons and powering the Astronomicon. Basically oh. a big north star for people who are sailing in the warp to help them navigate. The Horus Heresy saw many loyalist and traitor legions. So basically the Emperor created himself as the energy that holds back the warp demons and lets the ships navigate. And these guys just decided we're gonna just kill the... <laughs> makes sense, makes sense. Uh, Agron's skull throne is made from skulls, of course, yes, makes sense. <laughs> Emperor gone, no more traveling! Who needs traveling? Who needs safety? Nah, no need for Emperor. Skulls for the skulls throne and all that, of course is pitted against each other in a bloody war until it reached Terra itself. Horus, unable to break through the lines and with time running out, made a gambit and opened his ship up to be boarded. The Emperor took this challenge, quickly allowing someone else to take control of the throne as he teleported his way onto Horus's flagship, oh, he can teleport the now. Vengeful Spirit. The Emperor, unable to truly kill his most beloved son, changed his mind right quick when Horus strangled the life out of his other son, Sanguinius. Oh no! I'm sure you've seen this image at some point. I think he was like, I, I can't kill you, you're my son. Oh, you killed my other son. Yeah, you're dying, man. <laughs> it doesn't matter that you slaughtered thousands of, upon thousands of my soldiers. That's fine, but you killed my other son. That's unacceptable. Now you must die. Broke his neck, actually. Oh, that's, I guess it's a faster death. So better question mark. <laughs> The Emperor then said, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, and proceeded to it's psychically a blast drama, of Horus course. into complete oblivion, killing not Unacceptable! only his body, but also his soul. Fun fact, there would still be entire chapters of treachery marines trapped beneath the Imperial place from the Sage of Terra, oh boy. Horribly wounded from this duel, the Emperor is returned to the Golden Throne in order to keep the demons at bay and power the Astronomicon. Yes, because the without it, humanity would be flying blind. There he sits, slowly dying from his wounds and the strain of powering no. the Golden Throne. The only thing keeping him alive is feeding upon the souls of 1,000 psychers every single day. Ooh, so he's another one who can sit there and save the humanity, but to in order to do that at this point, he needs the souls of the other humans or psychers to literally upkeep the humanity. I wonder if at certain point that cycle would kill everyone anyways. And the company of sons of uh, uh, Horus. Mm. This was 10,000 years ago. We are now in the 41st millennium, modern day. Warhammer 40,000. Uh-huh. Woo! He got to the modern day! The Emperor remains on his throne. The Imperium is a rotting carcass of an empire, Ooh. a fascist, xenophobic cult Ooh. that worships the That's Emperor no as a deity despite him never wanting to be seen as a god. Over the span of one million worlds, the Ecclesiarchy, the Church, of the emperor is spread throughout inquisitors with un so emperor never wanted to be as seen as god but humanity said how about we still see you as god and actually worship you like one because 
Yes, we need a god and you shall be one. <laughs> We're talking about billions and billions of humans in the galaxy. Yes, of course. Ugh. Parallel power root out any sign of heresy or That's lack what of the god devotion would say. to their god emperor. <laughs> the other half of the yeah. traitor legions move about as chaos space marines, raiding and pillaging the Imperium, while the loyalist half does their best to keep the Empire alive. All throughout this, they must endure orc invasions, Eldar trickery, the reawakening of the Necron race, and the Great uh -oh. Devourer, the newest Tyranid threat from the darkness between galaxies that has arrived to feast on their worlds. Uh-oh. <sighs> the theme of Warhammer 40,000 is regression and intolerance. Every major faction in Warhammer has had an empire that spanned the galaxy only to be crushed back to a hollow shell of what they once were due to their own failings. Culture, the arts, personal freedom, religious tolerance, the simple possibility that alien life might not want to kill us is considered <laughs> heretical and- It's like, ha ha, what, 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 you think that the aliens won't kill you, kill us? You idiot, you idiot. I bet he would facepalm himself if he could, he probably would, but unfortunately he probably can't at this point. It's often met with a pistol to the head. There is no time for these things. All there is time for is worship of the God Emperor and a million wars to be fought. To be a human in the 41st millennia is 99% of the time to live a horrible existence. To be one of trillions of other humans across a million worlds throughout the galaxy. A galaxy where AI is outlawed so humans are repurposed and lobotomized to become slaves. A place where a lack of devotion is met with death. And if you even have devotion, there is a good chance the threats to the galaxy, chaos, and aliens will kill you anyway. War so basically no one uh, gets to live until old age, everyone just die within the war. I would recommend their religion to have something that if you die within the battle, like something what the um, Vikings had, that the best way to die is in the battle because that's like 90% of, 99% of these people life, they will die in the battle. <laughs> God, I love 40k lore. It is interesting for sure. They don't die. So we'll live to die. So die in the battle. Exactly. That's heresy. What do you mean it's heresy? <laughs> you should be proud to die in battle. They go to the emperor's side instead of being consumed by the warp. Oh, that sounds lovely. Oh, uh, it sounds lovely to be an undead being next to an undead emperor. If you die on the battlefield, you get uh, repurposed as a machine berserkers. You don't even live for the emperor, you heretic. Of course, I, I, of course, I'm sorry, emperor. Yes, of course. That's the only being that shall persist within this whole thing. Warhammer is a world where you revel in being bad. There are protagonists, there are antagonists, but every faction is some shade of evil. Because playing the bad guys is always more fun. And my friend, you have a selection. So. <laughs> I think I still want Eldars though. Their souls go to the Emperor, yeah. Now you're getting it? Of course, you live, you die in battle. You turn to an AI with your soul stuck in it and die in battle again. And then your Emperor chomps your soul. Yeah, sounds like a fun cycle to live in. Well, pick up that last gun soldier, you and the other three million men and women in this single deployment nom, 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 on nom, this nom, single nom. world in this single battle will now show them the might of the God Emperor. That weapon in your hands has killed 99% of the alien populations in this galaxy. Unfortunately for you, soldier, you're fighting the final 1%. May the Emperor be with us. Glory! to the first man to die. Mm. For in the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. Of course there is only war. Who needs anything else in this world, right? Now comes the dream bunny invasion. Yes, that's what we should do. We don't want to be elderly. 
either your soul will be eaten by a slanish or sounds perfect. Sounds like a sounds like you have many, many options how to be happy in this world. Thank you, everyone. I hope I have helped teach you about Warhammer. If you are a brand new person and you want to get a bit more about the world, there are multiple books that do a great job at showing off. I'm sorry, but this is, doesn't sound like multiple. I, I, I don't think I can even count them easily. <laughs> Look, it's me! <laughs> of how the entire universe operates. For the most part, Warhammer is a setting, and often stories are told in that setting with a Warhammer coat of paint. Gaunt's mm. Ghosts is Band of Brothers, but Warhammer. It's honestly one of my number one recommendations for new people. Assassinorum Kingmaker Ooh, is an assassin cool. novel involving those night worlds. This is Mission Impossible, but Warhammer. Bloodlines I mean... is Blade Runner, but Warhammer. And the list goes... This sounds very fun. It's like, this is this, but Warhammer. It's this, but Warhammer. I love multiple, a lot. Yeah, I love books, guys. I love reading books. I have a lot of books, a lot that I read, a lot that I want to read. And it's like, I cannot find, I, I was planning to like find every day, like five, 10 minutes before sleep to like read a bit of a book because I really miss reading books. I really do. It's something that I would love to get back into. But a lot of times I just don't have the energy and I prefer to do something else, like play a game or crochet or I don't know, watch some videos or whatever else. And it just never happened. But I really love reading books. I have half of the books. Damn, that's a lot of books. I think some uh, parts of the universe have dozens of books. I'm not surprised. There's a lot to unravel here. Yes, Bricky! Kadia is mentioned in seven with four about it entirely. Oh my goodness. This is reincarnated as a vending machine, but in Warhammer. <laughs> <laughs> goes on and on. If I had to recommend a brand new novel for a first time Warhammer enjoyer, yes. these are the four I would recommend. Horus mm -hmm. Rising, Caiaphas Kane, First and Only Gaunt's Ghosts, and Infinite and the Divine. They are all fantastic novels and they will get you acquainted with the world without needing to know too much. Thank you all so much. So I should not, so what I'm hearing from Bricky here is go to your throne Input Warhammer books there and wait to receive them. <laughs> I got three of those. Are they good to watch? I don't know. Are they nice books to read? Knowing Warhammer, that is just a random soldier put into one. I'm, I would not be surprised at this point. <laughs> I'm very glad that he puts out like, hey, if you want to delve into this thing, here are some recommendations I can give you and you can read those and see if you like any of them, right? Like... There is so many great books out there that I really, I really think they're great and underappreciated. And I read quite a bit. Thank you for the posture check. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Like I have read many, many books. I've read the whole Harry Potter and I'm going to be honest. I enjoyed it while I r was reading it. But for the love of me, I don't remember anything anymore. Stop following MP me. Roger, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to my comfy space. Happy to stay. Hi, hi. Reading them in order would take ages. Reading them in general would take ages. Harry Potter is short for me. I read it... Uh, I think I finished the whole series in a week, but that was when I was still going to school. So I had a lot of time to read it. So yeah, I, I, I've read the whole series, I think within the week or something like that. It was not, I, it didn't took me long. <laughs> Black Library is a good website to get the books or audiobooks. Are they the digital books or physical copies of books? Because if physical, they would have to ship to Europe. If digital, I would have to probably print them out because reading on PC uh, makes me, makes my eye ver eyes very tired. Both? Okay, perfect. If One Piece is a light novel, <laughs> Black Library is official Warhammer bookshop. 
Noted, good to know. Much for watching this video. Get yourself a Gamer Subs flavor. Enjoy the new sweet six pack. And if you're curious and you want, you know, just a little Lord, you can find just him a in the Lord, description as so well cute. on my merchandise store, orchidate.com. Thank you for watching. I love and may the God Emperor sweet be with six us. Pack. Yes. On. Obviously, you're a skater. Obviously, I'm a skater. Thank you.